the future of Nigerian theater and the power of telling the Nigerian stories. Safety in electronic payment system and the homegrown solutions. Those are the two major topics that we'll be looking at this morning on The Breakfast. And of course, we'll have Off the Press, where we look at the headlines that made it to the front pages of some of our national dailies. A very good morning to you and thanks for joining us on The Breakfast on Plus TV Africa. My name is Nyamgul Agaji. Today is Tech Tuesday and so we'll be looking at something tech. And not that we're going to forget about every other thing that will add value to our lives. So we are going to be taking so many uh, things to discuss this morning and we hope that you're going to have a very wonderful time watching the program. As usual, we begin with uh, the things that really, really um, put our interest in the course of the last 24 hours. We call that top trending. Supreme Court reserves judgment on appeal filed by PDP and LP against Tinubu is the first thing we're looking at. The Supreme Court has reserved judgment in the appeal by Atiku Abubakar and the People's Democratic Party, PDP, against the September 6th judgment of the Presidential Election Petition Court, which affirmed the victory of President Bola Tinubu in the presidential election. It also reserved judgment in the appeal by the Labour Party and dismissed the Allied People's Movement, APM. Now, a seven-member panel of the court led by the Justice Inyang Okoro announced this on Monday after counsel to parties adopted their briefs of argument and made final submission. The Supreme Court also took arguments from lawyers to parties on the motion filed by Atiku to supply fresh evidence on forged documents. Counsel to Atiku Abubakar, Chris Uche, urged the court to grant the motion and allow their appeal, grant the prayers sought and disqualify Tinubu. And counsel to the respondents, that is uh, Bubaka Mahmoud for the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, Wole Olani Pekun uh, for President Tinubu, and Akin Olujimi for the All Progressives Congress, APC, urged the court to dismiss both the motion and appeal for lacking in merit. But the court rose briefly then, reconvened to hear the appeal by the Allied People's Movement, APM. The party was urged to withdraw its appeal as it did not have prayers for determination. Now, the counsel for APM, uh, Machuku Ume, subsequently withdrew his appeal. The respondents did not object to the withdrawal, and the Apex Court thereafter dismissed the appeal. Yesterday, a lot of Nigerians were praying uh, that um, the judgment in the UK should be in favor of Nigeria because we didn't have $11 billion to pay. So we have this headline saying, judgment declare, or judge rather, declares Nigeria winner of $11 billion arbitration case against P and ID 13 years after failed gas processing plant deal in Calabar. This judge is in the UK, and his name is Justice Robin Knowles of the Commercial Courts of England and Wales, and he ruled in favor of, or the judge ruled in favor of Nigeria in the enforcement of the $11 billion arbitration award against process and industrial development, that is P&ID Limited. In January 2010, the P&ID signed a gas supply and processing agreement GSPA with Nigeria to develop a processing plant in Calabar, the Cross River State capital, but the deal never materialized. The company went to court seeking a $5.96 billion compensation for Nigeria with arbitration proceedings against the country at the London Court of International Arbitration. In January 2017, the arbitration said Nigeria breached the contract and ordered the country to pay the company $6.6 .6 billion with interest starting from May 2013 before the verdict. Uh, before the verdict, the interest fixed at 7%, that is $1 million naira, had, $1 million had accumulated over the, uh, $11 billion. Nigeria responding filed an appeal against the enforcement of the award and the court granted the relief sought by the country in September 2020. The lawyers for Nigeria argued that there was enough evidence that the contract and the arbitration award 
were procured through fraudulent means. And the Nigerian Defense Council urged the court to set the arbitration award aside as some individuals in the case were being tried for money laundering and graft. In this landmark ruling on Mo Monday, October 23, that was yesterday, Justice Knowles uh, not only agreed that the arbitration awards were obtained by fraud, but also that the manner that they were procured were contrary to public policy. And we do hope to bring you an expert that will be x-raying this particular topic tomorrow. Um, a, a gentleman of the law uh, will be here tomorrow to talk about this case and how it was able to go the Nigerian way and many other legal matters that we may want to know about that surround this case. And we also have uh, Naira dollar rate. The political class has to get together and realize that their country is about to die. That is according to Pat Otomi. Uh, Professor Pat Otomi warned that the Tinubu administration should take caution in how they run the current decline in the value of the Naira. Since the announcement of the removal of subsidy by the president of Nigeria, Bola Ahmed Tinubu, on May 29th, the Naira has lost 40% of its value in the exchange market, causing more hardship for Nigerians. And uh, as at press time, the Naira was going for 1,150 1, Naira to 1,200 Naira to 1 US dollar on the black market. So Professor Otomi, Otomi says, if the president as well as the National Assembly do not focus on how to save the nation, Nigeria will die. And if Tinubu does not recognize this, according to Otomi, Nigeria will die. And we will end the Trump trending this morning with an unfortunate event. Uh, one person has died, while four others sustained injury in a boat accident in Edo State. That uh, accident occurred in the Gele Gele River in Ovia, southwest local government area of Edo State. And according to the Nigerian Tribune, sources in the area who spoke to journalists, however, uh, claimed that about seven persons died in a boat mishap. It was gathered that the boat accident happened on Thursday, October 19, 2023, when a passenger boat collided with an oil barge belonging to one of the multinational companies operating in the area. The oil barge was said to have uh, run out of fuel and was waiting to be refueled when the oncoming passenger's boat rammed into it, killing one person and injuring four others. The official record is one person died, but um, the unofficial records say more than one. In fact, at least seven people died. It was further gathered that the boat was conveying passengers, mostly market women, from the Ofunama community who were returning from the market. And following the quick response from the Marine Police of Edo State Police Command stationed in the, the area, a major tragedy was averted as some of or most of the victims were rescued and rescued alive. A senior member of the staff of the oil company who did not want his name to go into print confirmed the incident, adding that the company was meeting on the issue. And we can only say may the souls of the people that were lost uh, in that mishap rest in peace and the families and friends of the people uh, have the fortitude to bear the loss. Okay, uh, that's for Top Trending. We'll soon be going to the press to see what we can lift off the press. Right now, let's take a very short break. We'll be back in a GP. Stay with us.